for the one. Have you seen her? The one. Have you seen her? Zena, Zena, Zena. For the love of Christ, it finally happened. Like, do you guys ever just get on strings of luck where everything just goes your way? Quite honestly, it never happens to me. Like, last night, my God-given right was finally granted to me. When you like this video, it'll pop up on Twitter saying you liked it from at Nuda. I'm not sure what it was. Maybe it was the Twitter fairy finally blessing me with her God-given honesty. Or it actually might have been Christ himself who came to me in a dream and said, Clayton, you're really fucking fat. I have also given you at Nuda on Twitter. That's real as hell, Jesus. Thank you. I mean, honestly, I have only, like, three other goals now. One, being dropped the permanent winter coat. Two, being muting phase adapt. And three, getting that beautiful blue check mark next to my name. I mean, honestly, just take a look at how beautiful this bad boy looks. Oh my god. I mean, honestly, if I keep it up, Pomage won't get to bully me anymore. I mean, he probably still will, but it's worth a shot. And I mean, honestly, if I get verified, my parents might actually talk to me now. Speaking of which, I got banned for an hour on BO2 the other day. So I went downstairs to talk to my family. They seem like nice people. Like, I don't know if any of you have ever smoked crack or like a really high quality meth, but I've heard that's what it's like getting verified on Twitter. Like, getting verified gives you the ability to tweet at Adolf Hitler. And yeah, he might be dead and stuff, but he has to reply to you because you're verified. Like, I shit you not, being verified is literally better than meeting the Pope. This wouldn't happen if I was verified on Twitter. God, I just sat down and listened to myself and how much I care about this, and I am the worst nerd I've ever Met. Like, you guys have to realize, when your life is based around social media, a lot like mine is, it is a horrible life. Now, I don't know, it's actually really fun, because you get to meet a lot of people and stuff like that. It's a lot cooler than what you think it would be. I mean, obviously, we're all nerds, but honestly, it's still more fun than a lot of things. But there's just something about that little blue check mark. It's like a secret society that only FaZe, Rain, and Apex can get into. It is literally like joining FaZe, except a lot more difficult, and everybody who's anybody is in it. There's a time in your life where you're not verified and you're not important, if you catch my drift. Yo. Oh. <laughs> well, shit. That was kind of counterproductive. You meet the biggest douchebags on this game. Why do you play like this? I'm just saying yesterday was just unbelievably lucky. I mean, first Twitter Jesus blesses me with my at name. Fuiz, head of YouTube gaming, follows me. And I mean, that was pretty darn cool. I hit 120k and to top it all off, Mac Miller dropped his album. So you know what? I will call yesterday a win. Top it all off, I bet Katie Princess isn't even a fucking princess, you conniving bitch. I know this isn't like my normal videos, but you guys said you wanted me to toss it up a little bit when I uploaded. So anyway, if you guys enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. And if you're new, subscribe. I was told to join FaZe, I had to talk really fast my outro, so I guess I have to do that for now on. And anyway, speaking about my parents again, my dad, much like Jevin Rain, really wasn't there for me as a child. He went to the grocery store one night and he then came back and then when he left again, he said he was never coming back. Honestly, dad, I just want to know where are you now that I need you?